Jesus. So unless you have God's order for the family, then you really don't have a house. God never intended for baby daddy to have his feet under your table at your dwelling place as if he is not, and he's not man enough to marry you. He has no business in your house. If I can say anything to help sisters today, if I can say anything to help these ladies out here today, uh, uh, far too many women settle for just 98.6 degrees of mess. Now, they, they just want a warm body. They, they settle for 98.6 degrees of mess. And, uh, and, and the man does not offer any spiritual covering. He has no place in your house. Because he's not occupying his appropriate space as being the house builder. Implied that being the house builder is that he is supposed to be the covering. Thank you. If he's not covering, he does not belong there. He is an invader. He has no rights. He needs to leave. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Don't get it twisted, single ladies. Don't get it, don't get it twisted because God has you in the space. He has you in right now, ladies that are single. Ladies that are single. When ladies are single, God has them single for a reason. Because God wants them to be a whole woman so they don't chip off and make the man half. Okay. <clears throat> there was a love, a love song to come me. Your don't you know with you I'm born again? I was half not whole. You a liar. You have no business getting in the relationship in the first place if you have. All right, all right, all right. A marriage should be made of two whole people, not half people, to make it one whole. That's not the way. That's perversion. You got a half person. You got a freak. It's a freak of nature. And it's going to leech. It's going to suck the life out of the other person if it's a half a person. If it's a half, it's a half. Have any advice? Any advice for people? Young people. There's a, again, I told y'all last week, there's a young, car, young, young couple that, that my wife and I have been asked to, to counsel. And, and I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them you better be a whole person that, uh, if you want to have a whole marriage. You can't have a whole marriage with two half people. You can't. You can't, you can't, you can't have a whole marriage with two half people. Sometimes God needs to shape a woman into being a whole woman so she'll be ready for a whole man. So she won't settle for a half wit. See, sometimes women, women, women will settle for a half wit just because society tells you you're supposed to have a man. No, you better, you better wait on God. And you better be where a good man can find you. Oh my God.